Okay, let's go ahead and get started, Scott. Um, so good evening, everybody. We're here to talk about emergency responder wellness with Shackley, um, stressed, overworked, unhealthy eating habits, poor nutrition, and stressed. <laughs> Did I mention stress? So we have special guest speakers tonight, Officer Lane, who happens to be my husband, and also Captain Bradshaw with the fire department down in North Carolina. So... If you have any questions or comments, please type them to the right in the box, and we will try to get to them towards the end, if possible. So I always like to introduce myself, especially if somebody's new on here and doesn't know me. Uh, my name is Stacey Lane. I am by far a product of the Shackley products. I am a health mentor and business coach. I blog at Creating a Healthy Life, which is StaceyLane.com, and I have been married for 19 years, just had my wedding anniversary last week, and I'm a wife of a police officer. So although I am not a emergency responder, I definitely feel somewhat qualified to talk about um, health and wellness as far as um, from the point, point of view from emergency responder, because I see it in my husband and also the other officers. And I am a mother of very two active boys. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so the first thing is really about staying alert and safe. And here are the main foundations that we're going to cover. Um, healthy weight, healthy energy, healthy nutrition, healthy stress or dealing with stress in a healthy way, and also healthy hydration. So here's the first topic, healthy weight. Um, here's just some facts. Um, voted number one for worst jobs for health because of the high rates of energy, injuries, illnesses, and on-the-job fatalities, three-fourths of emergency responders are considered overweight, and one-third of them are considered obese. So this is why we're really touching heavily on this topic of weight, because without being at a healthy weight, you're never going to achieve true wellness. Uh, more firefighters actually die of heart attacks than going into burning buildings. That's kind of scary. And here's a question. Are they performing at their best? I mean, these are um, men and women that are supposed to help and protect our communities. I mean, me, I'm part of the community, and I want them to perform at their best. So achieve a healthy weight and maintain it. These are just some things that need to be in place, especially for emergency responder. It needs to be sim simple, which means it needs to be easy to make. It needs to be quick, like fast food, which is probably part of the reason why so many emergency responders have issues with weight because they need something really quick. Um, something that's tasty. I mean, it's got to taste good. Nobody's going to stick to any type of plan or program if it tastes, if it doesn't taste good. And it needs to be filling, and especially with emergency responders. Sometimes they can go hours and hours in between meals. My husband's behind me chuckling right now. Um, so it's got to be hearty. It's got to be something that, that is filling. So here steps in Captain Scott Bradshaw. Um, Again, he's a fire captain and he's an EMT for the county of New Hanover, North Carolina. And I hope I got the spelling on New Hanover correctly. <laughs> um, so go ahead, Scott, if you want to um, take over and just kind of tell uh, your testimony, your story, how it started. I know that it started with your wife um, kind of looking into Shackley and introducing it to your family. Do you want to go from there? Sure. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me, by the way. <laughs> uh, and since that picture was taken, I've had a promotion there. I was uh, lieutenant uh, in the picture to the right, but I've, I've since been promoted to captain. Uh, I used to be an assistant chief of a smaller fire department, so uh, I've, you're talking about stress. I've been there. I've been the administrator of the department. Uh, I went to a much larger department to, to change in venue, if you will. Uh, but, yes, my wife introduced us to Shackley through some friends that we go to church with because of some health issues we were having in the house. Our son had horrible, horrible allergies. Um, he was on two prescription allergy medications, and he was on an asthma inhaler, and we were tired of it. So we, we started changing the house, and we changed his life. In three years, he has not been back to the doctor. He hasn't had a single, other than a well visit, he's just, we don't see doctors anymore. We wow. changed everything at once. So, yeah, that's been phenomenal. Um, I cannot, I just can't speak enough in this about how much that has changed our life. But as you can see in the picture to the left, I was 240 pounds at 38 years old. I was overweight. I was slow. I was sluggish. I was tired, and it affected my job performance. And uh, my wife, who you see in the picture there with the Eiffel Tower in the background, she's a you know five foot seven bombshell. And she said to me one day that for the first time in her life, guys with some muscle definition were turning her head. And I took that as a challenge. 
didn't take it as a dig. I wanted to do something to serve her. Look, guys, we're in the service business. We serve people all the time. I wanted to do the best I could to serve my wife, and I wanted to be that person for her. So I started off at GNC buying some weight loss products, uh, some no-name products, if you will, uh, well-known products, but I didn't feel good. I didn't feel right. I lost five or ten pounds, and I put it back on, and my brain was a fog. And she said, Scott, we, we have Shackley, and they have a weight loss product. Why aren't you using that? So I started with the 180 kit, and guys, I'm, I'm here to tell you, 65 pounds gone. I, I'm 42 Monday. My birthday is Monday. I feel like I'm 26 years old. Happy birthday, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> I got down to 176 pounds. I went from 38% body fat down to 11% body fat. Wow. I ran my first, yeah, I ran my first half marathon last year. But I tell you, my memory, my focus, my command presence, if you will, when I walk into a room, everything about me has changed. It hasn't just been my weight. My cholesterol is down. My blood pressure is down. When when my superiors look at me now, they see a confident person that stands up tall, that's proud of what he's accomplished, and it, it actually has translated into my pocketbook as well. I, I've had promotions and I've had raises that I don't know that I would have had without doing something in my life to change how sluggish I was and how slow I was. When it comes to emergency response, you know, especially firemen, at 3 o'clock in the morning, we're in a dead sleep and the, the tones go off, the bell drops. But we have to be able to go, and our heart can't take that kind of stress. That's what kills us as firemen is, is that sitting in a chair doing nothing or laying in the bed asleep and having to get up and respond immediately in that high-stress environment. But guys, I'm here to tell you, my, my JPAT, for those of you who are in the fire service, you probably know what a JPAT is. My JPAT times are better, the uh, George, uh, job performance agility test. My physicals, my NFPA physicals every year, my daughter cannot believe how much my numbers have changed. Uh, and it, it has translated into better health for us as a family and in, and in my job. I, it, it really has changed my life. It's easy. Like you said before, it's simple, it's filling. It's quick and it's tasty. Uh, I was worried about being hungry because you're taking a shake for breakfast and you're having a meal bar for dinner. I mean, come on, guys, I, I ate a big plate of food. I was a big guy. And I was taught that if you take some time to drink the shake slowly, take some time to eat the bar slowly, it isn't a candy bar, you're not whooping it down, take the same amount of time to eat your bar that you would to eat a meal. Take the same amount of time to drink your shake that you would to eat a meal. That's a great tip. Yeah. You you don't feel hungry. Uh, my guys at work see what I've done. They've joined me. I've sold more kits to firemen now than, than I have any other person, and the entire department is seeing what's happening to us. So we love it. That's that's the Shackley effect. You're sharing with people who need it. Yeah, not only that, but because of the product and because of my weight loss, my wife and I went on a trip to San Francisco as a semifinalist in the healthy competition. And then we were selected as uh, grand prize winners, and they sent us to Paris for a week. Woohoo! Yeah, so, <laughs> hello, yeah. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you a question, um, uh, Captain Bradshaw. <laughs> What um what does your wife have to say now about your transformation? <laughs> oh, she couldn't be happier. Um, I'm a different guy. I I look different. I I I exercise along with this program very well. I'm more muscular than I ever have been. I've gained muscle mass. I look. I get out in the yard. I have a nine year old and a six year old, and I bounce on that trampoline and I play with these kids. <laughs> and she, she just sits and watches in awe that so many parents, uh, guys my age, aren't able to do this with their kids or don't want to do this with their kids. And it's it's so exciting for her that I've turned my life around and that I am so active now and I feel so much better. And uh, it, it's been really, really good for our relationship. I'm, I'm sure it has. Uh, here's a tip, guys. This is coming from a wife now. Um, that is attractive to us. <laughs> it's not all about looks. It's about the attitude and um, the willingness to get in there and get your hands dirty, especially with the kids. 
to be yeah, active. I don't mind if I can say, too, I didn't even mention this earlier, but uh, I had a testosterone panel pulled when I was 37 years old, and my testosterone levels were around 270. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you that last year's physical, I'm going for my next physical on Tuesday, last year's physical, my testosterone numbers were up to above 710. Wow. You know what? I'm really glad you brought that up because the emergency responders that have reached out and contacted me, especially in, in com- um, you know, and just kind of being discreetly have mentioned about having low testosterone. So I'm really glad that you, you came out and you mentioned that because as a woman, it's not something that I regularly think about, but it is true that that has a lot to do with um, the way with your health. So that's awesome. I mean, that's the way you feel, the way you perform uh, in all aspects of life. And and this isn't a magic drug that, re- that, you know, it isn't testosterone therapy. What it did, it allowed me to release the testosterone that was being stored up, uh, mainly the quadriceps and the larger muscle groups that stores testosterone. And by releasing that into the bloodstream where it's available, it, just, it has changed so much for me. You know, I, I actually hear from a lot of um, folks that, that start unshackling just a couple months into it that they tell me they are, let's see, how do I word this, that it's easier for them to fight off common colds, flus, or to just not get sick. And when they, when they do get sick or if they've had, they're coming into shackly with medical issues, that it's almost like they're equipping their body with the right tools and weapons to fight off or to let their body fight off what it is that's ailing them. Did you kind of feel that way? Like your body can just handle things better now. Right. And and in our, in our job, we're exposed, especially being EMTs, paramedics, firefighters, and police, we are exposed to people who are sick. Yes. And who are not well. And, you know, honestly, I have built up over 600 hours of sick time. I I can't tell you the last time I took a sick day. (laughs) Uh, I, I really can't. And uh, my son, he's nine. He he hasn't been back to the doctor for three years. That's worth so much to me, not just in money. But me, I, I can't, other than going for my NFPA physical every year and going for my annual checkups, I, I, can't, I can't tell you the last time that I had a day of missed work when I was sick. I had skin cancer. I've had a, a very large piece cut off my back, and I've had several snipped off. But over the last three years, every time that I have, I'm not saying that Shackley is a miracle drug that cured everything and fixed everything. Right. But every single biopsy that I have had done since that day, they said there were abnormal cells growing that are no longer growing. There's no cancer. And you know what? That I didn't even think about that when we talked earlier either. But we have such a such a limited amount of time. But Shackley has touched our lives in so many ways. I cannot say enough. We 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 talk about it. We are listening sometimes the reason for it. It might just be me. It works. Hey Scott, can you do me a favor? I think that that we're having a little bit of a glitch here. Um, can you just repeat that last thing that you said? Uh, okay. Is picking up at what point? Uh, I think it was maybe that last comment, the last sentence that you just said. About it touching your life, and then you kind of went into, I think, how? Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I totally messed up your mojo, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know if it was just on my end, but I don't I don't know if it was on everybody's end, but uh, it kind of was, yeah, it sounded kind of wonky there for a second. I think that you um, started to talk about maybe how um, it might just be my end. Yeah, it's coming through wonky again, but I think it it might just actually just be on my end. I'm hoping that um, people listening on are going to be able to hear it. Um, Scott, I, I have um, just a couple more questions for you. One is, how does um, happy birthday, by the way, you're going to be 42. How do you compare your health and your your energy and your endurance, let's say, to when you were in your 20s, so like 20 years ago? Uh Uh-oh. 
Yep, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, it's not coming through again. I don't know if it's because you're on the phone or. Um, oh, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I went in the military when I was 18. Um, I used to run track in high school, and I, I stayed in the Air Force and threw the first Gulf War. I'm a veteran of the first Gulf War. I got out when I was 22, and, and I felt great, you know, like a 22-year-old should. But when I was in my 30s, I felt like I was in my 50s, and, and I, I didn't know what that felt like, but it just wasn't right. And when I hit 38 and my wife made that comment, I really felt like an old man. I, I'm telling you now, I'm, I'm, I'll am i be 42, like I said, next week, Monday, and I get up every morning, and I either go for a run or I get to the gym and work out because I want to. I feel like I have so much energy. Uh, I, I feel like I did when I was in my twenties again. That's that's just that's awesome. <laughs> um, okay, and then I'm the last question before we move on, and I'm hoping you can kind of stick around for a little bit longer because I'm sure you're going to have some uh, some things to, to chime in about about the um, the other products that we're going to highlight. But as far yeah. as your Shackley business, because obviously now you're involved with your wife's Shackley business, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah you can say that. I think a lot of husbands, you know, they kind of look at their wives when they start a shock and say, okay, go ahead and talk about your, your you know, your pills and your soap or whatever um, until they feel it for themselves. So can you just kind of say something real quick about your view on Shackley as an opportunity for your family, for finances? Absolutely. Well, look, uh, my wife and I were are both very successful in our own right. Uh, I'm like fire captain. I was a fire administrator at another department before. I owned a land clearing business. I had several heavy pieces of equipment. Uh, my wife is a commercial banker. She was in the mortgage business for a long time. She's she's always done very well. We, we've been very successful. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a nice 3,500 square foot brick home that's three years old, 500 feet from the intercoastal waterway. We, we do very well. And when my wife did this, it was for our health. We didn't start off wanting to be in business. Right. It was for my son's health. And for about two years, two and a half years, we didn't really pay the business of it any attention. We'd share it here and we'd share it there and some people would buy product from us. But we were we were perfectly content being consumers. And then I started realizing that one of my holdups was that, oh, it's a pyramid scheme and it's one of those things where the people above you get wealthy. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> I work for a fire department and I'm a captain now. The next position for me is battalion chief, and there's only four of them, and they're nowhere close to retirement. I cannot move up until someone above me creates a position for me or creates an opening for me. Right. And with Shackley. Uh-oh. I went to Chapel Hill Live. Uh, I met with some of the, the higher-up guys in Shackley. I met one of the highest-earning people in Shackley. And he told me a couple little tricks and secrets that I just had not, I wouldn't let myself get out of the way. And I finally let myself get out of the way. And uh, Kevin Crandall handed me a piece of paper that said, this used to be your wife's business. And and I chuckle about that every day because it is so true. Uh, I have really turned it on, especially since winning the, uh, the healthy competition. It is unlimited. It is an absolutely unlimited potential. Wow, I get I, I couldn't say it any better. Um, yeah, it definitely has uh, changed many lives, and you know, it's not a job; it's it's an opportunity. It's it's what you do with. It. Like you said, you kind of have to get out of your own way. Um, so thanks, thanks for sharing all this. Um, like I, I said, I, I hope that you can stick around for a little bit longer to the end of the uh, presentation, and uh, hopefully answer any questions. I see there's a couple questions up there now. Um, so if you can kind of stick around to the end, and like I said, as we go over the the rest of the um, products, if there's anything that you want to, you know, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll I'll mute, I'll mute the mic on my phone so you don't have to worry about mute and unmute on your end. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you, Captain Bradshaw. We're going to go ahead and continue here. And wow, great testimony here. Um, so again, he talked. Very, very um, deeply about the uh, Shackley 180. So I'm just real quickly going to discuss what Shackley 180 is. There are two kits. There's one 
for the weight loss, which means you replace two meals a day and it can be the BS smoothie or the meal bar. Um, like, um, Captain Bradshaw mentioned that he kind of did both. And then there's also the lean and healthy for once you get to that healthy weight and you just want to, um, create a leaner, healthier you and you replace one meal a day. And then obviously the vitamins, which we're going to talk about here just real quick. So why Shackley 180? And I know, um, Captain Bradshaw touched on the fact that he used other products, other plans, and just felt horrible. And one of the key ingredients in Shackley 180 is something called leucine. It's a complete amino acid that is proven to help and maintain and build muscle during weight loss. It contains 24 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber, and 23 vitamins and minerals. And if you look at the picture to the right, this is what is in one Shackley 180 smoothie. Uh, as much fiber as a cup of pineapple, a cup of broccoli, a cup of cauliflower, as much protein as four eggs, as much calcium as two cups of milk, as much vitamin D as 10 ounces of tuna, and as much leucine as five ounces of chicken. Now, that's a lot of food. And if you're trying to lose weight, you can't eat that many calories. It actually equates to over 1,200 calories, which in one smoothie you'd be getting for under 300. So that, to me, was really important. It's nutrient-packed. Um, the fact that it's non-GMO, no artificial flavors, sweeteners, or preservatives, gluten and lactose-free um, is probably one of the main reasons why Captain Bradshaw felt horrible with the other products because the other products, I'm sure, were just riddled with them. Um, and again, grab and go. I mean, it's much better than fast food. It's just about making a healthier choice. So in general, about the Shackley Company, we talked about that a few minutes ago with Captain Bradshaw. Um, what makes us different is that it's always safe, it always works, and it's always green. And we have the peer-reviewed scientific publications to prove it. A lot of companies say that they have it, but it's just something that they do in-house. And it's very biased. And Shackley, that's one of the reasons why they're different. They put it out there. Um, so the healthy nutrition is the foundation of, of being able to be healthy is really about the supplementation. And the main reason for that is because the food that we eat is no longer nutrient dense. If you compare, let's say, a carrot that you would eat today to a carrot 30 years ago, you'd have to eat about 30 of them to get the same nutrient value as you did 30 years ago. And it's just our food is depleted. And that's even with organic. Organic does not mean that it has more nutrients per se. It just means it doesn't have the pesticides and, and um, the herbicides on it, which don't get me wrong, is better. Um, but that is the reason why um, Shackley products are considered actually better than organic because they're tested for all those herbicides and pesticides um, before production, but they're actually tested after. Organic food is not necessarily tested after, and it's not required to be tested after. So this is one step um, that Shackley goes further, which is part, again, of the Shackley difference. And with the Vitalizer in mind, we have this special smart delivery system. I mean, this took years to develop, and it's all about getting the right nutrients to the right place at the right time. So it's the Shackley Micronutrient Advanced Release Technology. You don't want something to break down in your stomach that is not going to be absorbed until your intestines. So it really comes down to the science behind the products. Um, and then I would like to call my husband, who just stepped out of the room. So if, <laughs> people, if you haven't figured this out yet, this is live and this is real life. We're real people. This is what happens, and we had some technical glitches. I'm actually surprised um, I don't hear my kids running down the hall screaming because that's a typical thing. So let me go ahead and start introducing my husband. <laughs> he went to go deal with one of the kids, um, and then he can step in here. So my husband has been in law enforcement for 20 years, and those 20 years included military police, criminal investigator, uh, federal police, and now he's with, with the Metropolitan Police Department in Washington, D.C. He is a combat vet. I'm sure he's going to talk a little bit about that himself. Um, he is a certified international uh, police mountain bike associate association instructor. He's um, a bicycle response team instructor and emergency medical services bicycle instructor. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Probably doing with one of the kids. So, um, Officer Lane, <laughs> would you care to tell us um, your experience with Shackley as far as on the job, how you felt before using the Shackley products, or should I say before I started putting them in his cooler and telling him he should take them, um, and, <laughs> and now? Okay, well, 
Uh, let's see. I've been in law enforcement for, like she said, 20 years. I started out in the military. Uh, while I was in the military, I did, you know, basic training. I did MP school. I did, I was a criminal investigator for them as well. And in those 10 years, I, I began to have, uh, knee issues. I, like I, like, uh, the Captain Bradshaw, I ran track. I played soccer since third grade and I was captain of my track team. That's how I actually met my wife. Yay. And, <laughs> and in my 10 years in the military, my knee started to, to really hurt. So I was going to doctors. I went to a physical therapist and at one point, a doctor told me if I kept coming in anymore, uh, they would chap to me out on uh, injury, on a knee injury. So I, I guess they said that I had cartilage damage in both my knees. Uh, I had the uh, beginnings of arthritis in my ankles. And this is all before the age of 30. So, you know, I, I, well, I, I, I didn't feel 30, but this is all before the age of 30 that uh, this happened to me. So, um, Again, I was a, uh, at, while I was in the military, I was a first responder at the Pentagon. Uh, after that, I was in Afghanistan and we decided that maybe military life wasn't as good for a family anymore due to the, uh, the hardship deployments and things stress, like that and the stress, stress, stress. And, the, <laughs> and the very, very, very high level of stress I was under with, uh, criminal investigations and, uh, a lot of the investigations I, I can't really discuss, but were pretty much classified. So, Officer Lane, I'm going to interrupt you and say, so all that high stress, <laughs> so you got out of the military, and then you became a Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, police officer. And not just a police officer, a mountain bike police officer. Um, yeah, I'm not really quite sure as a wife which one is more stressful. Um, <laughs> but so can you kind of tell us a little bit about Let's say two years ago. Let's say two years ago. I think you've been using the shocking products for at least two years. Um, two years ago, what life was like on duty? I mean, especially <laughs> working shift work. Right. What was your endurance, your performance, um, your vitality, your energy? What was that like before tr even trying any of the shocking products? Well, uh, majority of my career I've spent on midnights, uh, which has wreaked havoc on not only my sleep patterns, my eating pattern, uh, my family life. So again, very stressful. And on midnights, if you don't bring something to eat with you, you've got maybe two to three choices. One of them is 7-Eleven and the other ones are fast food restaurants. So eating healthy is not exactly, wasn't exactly a priority to me. Uh, because again, it was one of those things like, like, uh, the captain was saying, my wife was saying, when you don't have you don't have too much time on your hands or you're stressed as it is. The first thing you're going to do is grab something quick. And unfortunately grabbing something quick typically means that it's poor planning and that it's going to be very, very unhealthy for you. And, you know, you try that for years on end and eventually eating your eating habits become very, very bad. And of course that starts to deteriorate your health. Um, Again, the stress was deteriorating. My uh, my stress level was very high. Let's just say that. Um, I had gray hair. I started getting gray hair. Um, <laughs> unhealthy. I was gaining weight. Um, and I'm a mountain bike officer. I've been a mountain bike officer the entire time. I've been a D.C. police officer. And um, I would be lucky to get two to three miles on my bike and thought I was going to die at times. And just, I know on a side note, the the only thing I wanted to do when I became a mountain bike officer was to become a, a, not just an instructor for them, but a, a senior instructor. And there's only typically three to four senior instructors out of the entire department, which is a little over 4,000 of us. Um, so that was my goal. And the way I was going at that time at, you know, 225, a 38 to 39 inch waist wasn't going to happen. Right, so, right. So after doing the 180, I remember you were kind of hesitant to, to weigh yourself. And I think you judged your, your um, transformation, I guess you can say, your turnaround um, by your size. And if I remember correctly, you went down, was it two belt loops or three belt loops? Two belt loops. Yeah, two belt loops. So, And then your performance, your job performance, how has that improved since 180? Well, my blood pressure has gone down. My cholesterol went down. Uh, with, 
with the 180, again, I've, I've lost weight, but I also incorporated after, you know, being a little bit more convinced of Shackley products. Again, I wasn't, <laughs> I was on the sidelines as well. I still am. Typical but, Shackley yeah, husband, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm a typically Shackley husband. I'm still on the sidelines for the most part. Uh, I do mention it, but, uh, I started incorporating other, other products. And again, remember I was telling you that my, my knees were bad. Um, in the last two years, since I started taking core energy, the joint complex, I take alfalfa on a regular basis and I take vitalizer on a regular basis. I've completed the P90X. I've completed insanity. I've completed, I've, I've completed the insanity workouts. I've completed the burst workouts or I've, I've been, I've, I'm sorry. I've been doing burst workouts for a little over a year. I, I've been doing the burst workouts now for a little over a year and which is part of the 180, which program. is part of mm-hmm. the 180 and you can get the burst app, which is great by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, their workouts, they, they are very intense. Um, but what I was saying was my knees don't bother me. Haven't bothered me, uh, since I started taking the joint complex and the alfalfa. Uh, recently I, I got injured. Um, I had, I compressed two discs in my lower back. And they told me I'd be out for what, two months. And I was out for three days. And don't get me wrong. When I came back, I wasn't exactly happy, <laughs> but I came back. They said that they'd never seen someone come back from an injury like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and again, it was, it was all about mm-hmm. Shackley products. That I was put, I was putting vitamin D, vitamin C. I was taking extra, uh, Omega guard. I was taking my, my typical alfalfa. I think I increased the alfalfa and the Omega guard. But I was taking my core energy, my performance. I was taking the performance strength. We're going to talk about some of that yep. in a minute too. If you've got all that are on <laughs> here I'm saying, "What are you talking about?" Anybody, <laughs> if I'm confusing anybody, I'm sure some of it will be up there. But in, in that time frame, I've also became a senior instructor. I'm a very well respected instructor, which you know is, was one of those things I've I've worked very hard on. Um, and I've I've I'm right now I'm in the works to be a a teacher for IPIMBA through their conferences, which they only let. So many new people per okay, year. So and, IPIMBA, for those out there who don't know. Oh, IPIMBA is the International Police Mountain, Mountain Bike, Bike Association, Association. Okay. which that's how I'm an instructor through. I'm an instructor through them for uh, the basics, the advanced, the uh, bicycle response team, which is uh, it's, it's almost like a civil disturbance unit, uh, but we do it on bicycles. And I can teach emergency uh, medical services, firefighters, and EMS on mountain bikes. So that's that was one of my goals, and I've achieved that goal. And now what I do now is I maintain with what I have. I've done the, uh, the Shackley 180. I, I, I'm doing the, which one do I have? The, the, pad, the one I use. Which one do I use? The lean and healthy. Lean and healthy. There you go. Okay. I use the lean and healthy and I've also done, do I want to talk about that? Doing the liver detox and the herb box. No, you don't need to. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I've, I've also, you know, I've, I've also, you know, doing again, being on midnights, mm-hmm. you know, and now I'm, I'm hitting almost 40. My partner's 25 years old and this is not a lie. He's 25 years old. He's, he's in very good shape and he can't, he can't keep up with me. Uh, I can do, I can, I've ridden between 30 and 40 miles in a day and come back the next day and rode another 10 to 15 miles with, you know, I, I mean, obviously a little bit of muscle strain, but nothing compared to some of the other guys. Uh, and I've had guys pass out. I've had guys heat strokes, right, heat exhaustion, right. um, Which, all these the different way, things. I don't interrupt, interrupt you, but the, what he just mentioned about the heat exhaustion or, or heat stroke or whatever you want to describe it actually is what prompted us to talk to emergency responders. Um, yeah. One, one of his, another fellow officer, collapsed to the ground, kind of went into a little bit of a seizure. They had to rush him to the ER to find out that he was severely dehydrated. And we're going to talk about the, the healthy hydration in a little bit. Um, and what I'm going to be comparing it to is actually what he was drinking at the time that, that he collapsed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm boggled right now that my husband is sitting here talking about this because I have to tell you, he was by far – the biggest resistance in this household, and he's kind of rolling his eyes at me, when it comes to Shackley and the fact that 
um, taking a pill or drinking a smoothie is going to change your life. And now he is a walking testimony of it. Yep. So I Everybody. honestly could not be more flattered and more enthused and honored that the Shackley effect is working right here in my house and my family. Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and, and um, continue. I don't know. Was there anything else you needed to say? I didn't want to cut you off. Well, I was going to say I eat healthier. And the reason why he, okay. this is a, the, the guy that she's talking about was a, uh, a football star in college, a uh, wrestling star in college, very muscular, very in shape, very healthy. And again, he got, he got bit by the, uh, the midnight bug with mm-hmm. bad eating habits, bad drinking habits, which is a big, big issue with firefighters and police officers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's alcohol. Um, yeah. But that's stress. Uh, yeah, stress. And, stress and related. That's, and that is stress yeah. related. And and I noticed the day that we were the day we were working. It was the Fourth of July. It was it was high 80s to 90s. I was eating cherries and I had my snack bars with me. I had performance and I had drank a shake. And some of these guys were sitting there eating sunflower seeds um, and other things that were really salty. No sandwiches, no, lunch meat, yep, those type sandwiches of things, yeah. with high sodium, uh, very little healthy, you know, eating. <laughs> and they weren't drinking any water, no types of water, nothing like that. They were drinking other Sport, things, like sports drinks. They were drinking sports like that. drinks that are high or energy and, drinks or energy yeah. drinks for the energy, energy. Right, right, right. The fake energy, <laughs> and, right? And they and a lot of these guys. We're complaining about the rise that we were doing because we have to go, you know, with a civil disturbance, you you can go anywhere from five miles to 25 miles in a day. We could be responding to different things. And they were complaining about it and they were looking at me and I was like, I I, I have nothing to say. I eat healthy. I work out. Um, uh, you know, you guys should have prepared for this. And right. that's a lot of things firefighters and police officers don't do is they don't prepare you have to be able to prepare yourself for even a night, 24 hours. I mean, I've been gone for eight hours. I've been gone for 17, 18 hours, but I always have yeah, snack bars. Days. Yep. I always have snack bars in my bag. I always have at least a, a, a small thing of, pro, uh, not protein, performance. but um, performance mm-hmm. at, at work. It's a hydration with me, drink. With, with uh, yes, a hydration drink. I always make sure I can get water. I mean, these are, these, these are the, the important things the that staples. I always keep. Yep. Yeah. I always keep with me. That's what keeps me healthy and happy at this point and, stre- <laughs> and a little less stress. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's all about preparing and planning. <laughs> okay, all right. I know you guys are probably like, what are all these products that um, Officer Lane and, and um, Captain Bradshaw are um, mentioning? So I, I have a few of them highlighted. If there's any questions about ones that maybe either one of them mentioned and I don't have here, just go ahead and type it into the question box and I will um, – you know, answer your questions towards the end here. So like my husband had mentioned about the core energy. Now this is a, um, obviously this is stuff that you need to add to a healthy diet. This isn't, you you know, like Captain Bradshaw was saying, there's no magic pill. It's all of it combined together. So core energy is not a stimulant, like a lot of things that are out there, but it's a natural energy booster that increases the efficiency of oxygen in the bloodstream. And that is really what gives us that, that boost of energy and keeps us going, that endurance. You think about, um, you know, long distance runners. It's all about getting that oxygen to your muscles, to your, your organs to keep you going, that endurance. And this actually, um, people tell me that they take it in the morning. They take it right before exercise. I actually do take this and I take this with each meal. Um, it's just a way for me. To, for me, I found that, that that helps a little bit better as far as absorption for me. Um, another energy boost, um, you know, a lot of officers and firemen or EMTs or paramedics, um, because of working those crazy shifts, they will, you know, down those energy drinks or d- these other energy chews that are out there. So, I mean, this is due to those crazy shifts, the long hours, the high stress. Um, you know, they need this extra boost. And Shackley energy chews are infused with green tea extracts, um, tons of B vitamins. There's no artificial ingredients or preservatives. Again, this is all about staying as close to nature as possible because that is what our body knows how to digest and to use. Not stuff that has, um, food dyes, lots of sugar, um, and artificial flavors and coloring. Um, you know, our bodies just don't really know what to do with that. So stress. I mean, I can't, I can't stress enough how high I've seen my husband's stress level be. Um, so, you know, 
managing it, manage family and career, you really have to have a supportive family. So, and I, I would love to say that I've been a loving, supportive wife through the last 19 years. Um, and let's face facts, I'm not always, you know, butterflies and rainbows, as I like to say it. Um, we all have our bad days, but for the most part, I have supported him. And, and the way that I support him, especially being with Shackley, is that I've introduced him to the Shackley products. I make sure that the meals that I cook are healthier. And I also give him that time to have that outlet of that hobby. And for him, is mountain bike. He didn't mention it, but he's actually on a mountain bike um, race team with a local company. And, um, yeah, he runs circles around guys that are, like, in their 20s, even on um, the races. Um, so here's some facts. Oh, yep, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Scott. No, that's okay. Uh, I was going to say something about the energy products. I, we've, the guys at our station and, and in our system in general and EMS, too, they fall prey to the marketing ploy that goes along with a lot of energy drinks. Mm-hmm. And while they certainly will get a jolt of energy for an hour or two hours, they end up drinking four and five of these things a day. Oh, gosh, yeah. What, what, I, what I have found is that my energy is constant throughout the day. Yeah. If, just, mm-hmm. if it's o'clock at night, if it's one o'clock in the morning, if it's six o'clock in the morning, it does not matter. I am the same guy through the day. <laughs> I will have a cup of coffee in the morning or I will have uh, my the uh, pomegranate green tea mixed with performance. Right, right. I take, I take poor energy, but my health allows me to be energetic mm-hmm. at 42 years old more than my 25 year old firefighter. Yep, yep. No, no. Uh, no, I was going to say, and with the energy chews, I personally like to take them about an hour before I'm doing some type of strenuous workout, or if because my kids have kept me awake <laughs> at nighttime. Um, sometimes I will take one midday, but I typically use it before I work out. And I want to point out that, at least for me, and I don't know how you feel, Scott, but for me, when I take it, it's a you don't feel like the jitters, you don't feel like the caffeine jitters, and when it wears off, I don't even notice that it wears off. It's not like that that slump or that is not that jolt of energy and then that crash that you get from a lot of energy drinks or chews or anything that's out there with that, you know, again, that marketing hype. It's almost like it just yeah. gives me a little more of a push to just go in. I think feel like it helps me focus a little more. Well, what it does for me, too, I'm a distance runner. Uh, I started running again when I started losing my weight, and I said I ran my first half marathon last year. If you go into a running store or a, a triathlon store, they have little packets of these carbohydrate gels yes. and all these things that they market to you. I just put energy chews in my running pack, and I use that instead of buying $2 a piece. Mm-hmm. Um, I won't call the name of the power gels that, that, <laughs> that they market to runners, but I just put a couple of energy chews in there, and either that or raisins. I use raisins for the same reason, and, and it helps me sustain that carbohydrate level energy while I'm doing my distance training. So yeah, there's, you know, just, we fall so guilty to, to marketing strategies. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And I, my husband stepped out again, but I know that he has a package of these in his, I call it his to go cooler. He just packs his whole cooler full of, you know, food and snacks and shackly stuff. Um, but he has a bag in there and that's because sometimes um, he's been stuck at work for two days straight and there's no sleeping in those two days. And he said that, you know, when he starts feeling a little bit sluggish because he's tired, he will take one of these. Of course, it's not something that you should stay up for all day. But, again, we're talking emergency responders. Um, They don't have a choice, especially if it's some type of uh, crisis or, you know, something to do with national security, again, being in D.C., or even the snow. And we've had those major snowstorms. He's stuck there because other people can't get to work. So this has really helped him to just stay alert. And, again, when you're talking emergency responders, staying alert can be a matter of life or death especially in a, a, a crazy <laughs> city or busy city like Washington, D.C. So thanks for uh, chiming in on on the uh, energy there. Um, I have some facts here. They're kind of <laughs> dim facts, but these are the facts about police and firemen and emergency responders in general. But 91% of suicides were by males in, in the, um, you know, emergency responders. And I think maybe, um, Scott, you can chime in on this. I think it's because a lot of, um, people in emergency responders, especially men in general, they think that they're immortal. They think that nothing can hurt them, um, that, you know, they don't have to go to the doctor. They don't need to, to worry about their health, um, only when things get really bad and they're forced to go. But I think it's that, um, that Superman mentality. Do you, 
Does that make sense? Again, I'm not a guy. I'm not an emergency responder, but I'm married to one. Does that make sense? Not only only that, but um, you were talking about stress earlier, but those of us in the field see things that the average human being will never have to see. Yes. And never have to deal with. And Mm -hmm. that is a type of stress that is, is very strange. It, you know, when you have small kids at home and you just came off of a call where you had to do CPR on a two-year-old, that's a different kind of stress than most people will ever know. Right, right. Uh, well, and, thank you. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and my, you know, I, I can only speak for myself, but my focus and my mental acuity, my mental ability, uh, I, I'm not a stressful guy anymore. I mean, <laughs> I love life. I love my life. And I, I'm not saying this. That, that there was some miracle thing that I took and that all of a sudden I didn't have any stress anymore. But my outlook on life has changed because of what I've been able to do. And I don't stress about those things anymore. Right. It's a side benefit. But, yeah, in, in emergency response, and I said that most of your listeners will tell you that we just we have to see things that people shouldn't have to see and shouldn't have to do with. And, you know, what? that's a really good point because that is why there's such a high rate of post-traumatic stress disorder. And with that, um, higher divorce rates, um, domestic violence, um, yeah, that, that all stems from that stress and your ability to deal with stress and, and the, the, you know, stress wreaks havoc on our bodies and definitely, you know, our, our mental status. Wow. Yeah. Again, I've only seen it from the outside. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't lived it, um, firsthand. So this brings us to the, you know, I don't want to say it's not healthy stress. I don't know if there's such thing as healthy stress, but there's definitely healthier ways to deal with stress. And, um, you know, this stress relief complex, this is something actually my husband just started taking. Um, I have been taking it for a while and it really just helps the body deal with the effects of stress. You know, our cortisol levels go through the roof when our stress levels are up and that causes inflammation. So, it, it, and, and just a way to tell if maybe you have some issues with cortisol is if you have some fluff in your middle section, chances are your cortisol levels are, are high. They're messed up. Um, this has really helped me. And I know my husband's starting to say that he's starting to feel it, but he's only been on it for a little bit. So we'll see as time goes on his ability to focus. He's more alert. He's less tense. So like you were just saying, Scott, you I just kind of like, you're not as stressed and it's just, Stress is going to happen no matter what profession you're in. Again, emergency responders are much higher stress and it's, it's constant or you can have a down minute and then boom, you know, it just, you got to go, you got to go. So it just helps you kind of deal with that stress a little bit more than if you didn't have this. And then the other thing that I know my husband had mentioned, and again, this is something, the, the main reason why we wanted to reach out to emergency responders is the hydration and Without all the stress and being out in the heat, we're supposed to drink about half of our body weight in ounces in water. And most people don't do that. I know some some days I struggle to do that. Um, so just this get clean water system uh, is the only thing on the market that removes a ton of contaminants, including lead and chlorine. The, all the other pitchers or filtration systems, they remove may remove 10 or less. So this is something, and again, my husband stepped out to deal with one of my kids again. This is real life. <laughs> um, he takes three or four huge containers of this water with him, and some of it he mixes with um, this performance. Um, this oh, We favor the orange performance. It comes in orange and lemon lime, but he favors this. He said this has been like his lifeline, and before it, he used to drink all those sports drinks that are on the market. We were talking about the marketing hype, and... Um, the officer that, that we mentioned earlier that had collapsed to the ground, he was actually drinking um, a sports drink, not a Shackley performance, but a sports drink. So it really wasn't hydrating him, uh, and it was actually dehydrating him because of all the synthetic colorants and stabilizers in there and the artificial flavors, um, whereas performance doesn't have any of that. I mean, it definitely helps us sustain energy. Um, it has hydrating electrolytes, including calcium and magnesium. It's very important to have those things during your hydration. It helps to better hydrate you better than water alone. And again, everything with Shackley, no artificial sweeteners, um, such as um, sucralose, aspartame, all that that stuff out there. Um, And I know, Scott, you had said that you are a distance runner. Do you prefer performance over water most days? 
Well, honestly, I was just getting ready to chime in about performance. When I when I start my run, I use one of the uh, pomegranate green tea mix mm-hmm. in a container and then two scoops of performance in my water. And that's what I run with, and that's what I finish my run with. But there's another interesting fact about performance. You know, it's actually used under a different name by someone else. Do you know who that is? <laughs> Go ahead, tell us. It's used by NASA. <laughs> it was developed for NASA's astronaut program, and they call it Astro Aid. Yes, that is awesome. And actually, if um, maybe maybe you have a little more information about it, but I do believe that NASA actually contacted Shackley to help design something. Is that? Do you have that same information? Yes, and that's and that's actually why one of the reasons why we chose to go with Shackley originally is they do not pay commercial advertisers. There will not be a Shackley NASCAR. There will not be a Shackley NFL team. There will not be some sports guy telling you this is the best thing in the world to lose weight when he has 17 personal trainers and millions of dollars to do this. Mm -hmm. The United States Olympic team uses this product. They have over 120 gold, silver, and bronze medals to their name, and this was developed for NASA for them to take into space and use as their hydration liquid. So, you know, I cannot say enough about what this does for electrolyte balance without all the sugars and Mm -hmm. all the artificial flavors and sweeteners and artificial colors. It is an unbelievable hydration product. Now, I know that my husband, he's out on the streets on a bike. I mean, he has, you know, his uh, his uh, water bottle attached to his bike, and he has performance in it. Um, I don't know about your situation. Are you out in the heat often? Do you find that this helps you during when you're on duty? Or do you kind of use it strictly for exercise? Because like I said, I mean, really my husband's exercise sometimes is when he's on duty, especially being a mountain bike cop. Well, we actually have the Get Clean Water Pitcher as well. I love that thing. It's the best water in the world. Um and, and I'm not just saying that because we're Shackley people, but it actually is the only one that will get rid of astrazine, uh, 2,4-D, a lot of the con- uh, chemical contaminants that they put on yards to kill weed. Just, yep. It's one of the only one in the world that can do all that. So I actually mix a bottle before I leave the house in the morning that I carry with me to work, and I sip on it through the day. Mm-hmm. I, I don't really have the option to carry it with me while I work and turn out here. Um, and, it just doesn't work. We care too much gear anyway, but I keep it with me throughout the day. So I sip on that bottle and stay hydrated all through the day. I just drink normal water with it. You know, as <laughs> right, right, right. There while we're on the scene. But yeah. it's impractical for me to keep it on my person while I'm working. Right, right, right. Yeah, well, I was going to say with my husband, it's because it's attached to his bike, which is kind of like his patrol vehicle. <laughs> um, and he actually keeps the cannon of this at his locker at the station. So he knows that he he has a backup system and he keeps the snack bars and some of the protein there. Um, again, so this way, if he's ever stuck there, he has plenty. He never has to go um, without or forced to go and have fast food or, you know, hit the, you know, the local convenience store and just pick something up real quick. Now, I'm glad you brought up the Astro Aid thing because <laughs> here's the thing. I mean, if NASA is using this for astronauts in space, um it's got to be good for us, right? I mean, it has to work. Again, that's the Shackley difference. It has to work. Uh, you know, <laughs> um, again, the Shackley difference. Um, this is something I want to kind of leave an imprint on people's brains when I talk to them about Shackley, the Shackley difference. There are products in harmony with nature and good health. Uh, is the guiding philosophy at Shackley. That is it. Products in harmony with nature and good health. Um, internationally recognized as experts in nutrition, public health, food science, analytical chemistry, biochemistry, herbology, microbiology, and engineering. Shackley is natural nutrition based on pharmaceutical standards and science. Um, I, I honestly can't say much much more. I mean, that kind of sums it up that they are, they're it. I mean, they're, when you're talking about health and, and, and being as close to nature as possible, I haven't found anything else like Shackley, which, again, really attracted me to Shackley. Do you have anything to add about the Shackley difference? I know we have all this stuff that we've talked about. We have all these testimonies and about the products, but just about the Shackley difference. And, again, I didn't really go deep into the company and the corporation and the history about Dr. Shackley, which is absolutely amazing. But do you have anything to add, Scott? You you don't have enough time for everything that I would have. <laughs> Exactly. You see, that's why I summed it up. People don't understand that we could talk for five hours about just the shackling. Yeah. There's you just know, and what's, what's amazing to me is that this is not a one-trick pony. 
this company has over 350 individual products. Mm -hmm. They own so many patents, I can't even keep up with it. Their skincare yeah. line alone has seven different patents in it. Yes. And people have been trying to buy it for years. I can't. Shackley, every month I learn something new. I just discovered their um, their herbal general purpose cream. <laughs> yes. That <laughs> yes, that stuff is awesome. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> how much difference that has made in my dry feet. Oh my god, that's a whole other thing. We can do that another night. Okay, look, I have to I have to change the screen here so like me and technology are not best of friends. So I have to just kind of change the screen a little bit so I can look at um questions. I think there were a couple questions. We have some time just to take a couple questions. Um if we don't get to your question and you have questions, um contact the person that you invited on here to get in contact with me or um if somebody came on with, for Scott, contact him. Um, let me look at the questions here. Yeah, I can't see the questions, but I'm, I'm happy to answer them. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going I'm to read them to you. Let me see. Um, how many scoops do you take of the hydration? Um, well, the recommended in, uh, dose, I guess you could, I don't say dose, it sounds like medicine, but the recommended amount is uh, three tablespoons to eight ounces. And I can tell you my experience, um, has been that I like it a little bit weaker. Some people like it a little bit stronger. I like it a little bit weaker. What, what's your take on that, Scott? Um, I make a pretty big bottle of it. Uh, the bottle I make is typically around 20 ounces, and I'll use two of the 180-size scoops in that. Uh, and my my kids and I both, that's what we use. We like it a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess it depends. If you're, a Gatorade, if you're an original Gatorade fan, you'll like it stronger. If you're a Gatorade G2 fan, kind of the watered-down version, you'd like right. it a little bit weaker. But do at least two teaspoons or uh, two tablespoons in eight ounces of water. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, I'm, I'm a little, I like a little bit weaker. I think my husband likes it a little bit stronger, actually. Um, I do have another question here. Um, what's the difference, and I'm not going to say the company, uh, what's the difference between um, other companies that um, kind of market weight loss shakes um, and Shackley? And let me tell you, we could oh. be here for five hours comparing Shackley to all these other things that are out there, but please, go ahead, Scott, take the floor. <laughs> please, yeah, please let me do that one. Um, Shackley 180 is, truly is all natural. Uh, I love it when some of the other companies say, we use natural products in our mix. Well, number one, non-GMO soy is all Shackley will use. Cold washed, non-GMO soy, huge, huge, huge difference. GMO soy is not natural. Number two, sucralose is what they're, most of them are claiming is a natural sweetener. If you look at their product, it's going to have sucralose in it. Sucralose is chlorine washed sugar. The only reason they can call it a natural product is because it was sourced originally from sugar cane. It's put through a chlorination process to molecularly change it. But since it was sourced from an original natural source like sugar, they can call it a natural product. Sucralose is as far from natural as AstroTurf is. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Marketing, 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 marketing hype. Not not truth and fact. It's very disarming. Um, what I have to say about it is um, the results. Yeah, I've had people that have come to me after they've used um, other systems, I'm going to call them, other systems or other plans out there that are, you know, widely known. Um, definitely marketed very well. And um, yes, they lose the weight, but then they're sick all the time. They end up with digestive problems. And guess what? They gain the weight back because a lot of those programs, actually all none of them, I teach you how to incorporate this into a lifestyle and to maintain it and it for to be maintainable. Um, so once those people leave those type of products or systems and come to Shackley and do the Shackley 180, um, the first thing they notice is their energy. They notice their energy. They notice they're sleeping better at night. They notice um, they're able to deal with stress better. Um, they're noticing that it's very simple to use. So guess what? If it's simple to use and it tastes good, we're going to do it. So there's no, other that, also there's no add-ins. Yes. When you buy a turnaround kit, you get the phone app, you get the food tracker, you get the workouts, mm -hmm. you get the metabolic boost, you get them. Everything is in the kit. There aren't any oh. 
if you want that, it's a fifty dollar add on. Oh, if you want that, it's a thirty dollar yes. add on. Yes, and you have to add in the nutrients. And although my husband does enjoy to add in, his favorite is what we call the monkey shake, where um, we use the chocolate protein. He adds in a little bit of peanut butter, some ice, and half a banana, and he loves it. And he blends it up. Me personally, I kind of have a, a fast paced um, environment myself. So I just kind of put it in a blender bottle, you know, those little blender bottles with a little mesh ball, um, and I shake it up and I go, and I'm completely content with that. Uh, every once in a while, I'll, I'll add some things in, but I don't add it in for nutritional reasons. I would add it in just to change things up. Not that I need to, but just to, you know, if I'm wanting some peanut butter, you know, you get the flavor for peanut butter, I add it. Um, but yeah, you don't have to. It's actually a complete meal. Like I hear a lot of people when they first start it that, um, the reason why they're so full, you know, they're like, why am I so full? It's because of the fiber and the fact that you're actually giving your body the nutrients that have been depleted for so long. I don't know if you're finding the same thing. It's, it's just, a, it's a huge change. Your body goes through a huge change when you go from being malnourished to being nourished. Does that make, does that make any sense? I don't know if you're still on. So I don't, I don't know. Um, Scott, did you have anything else to add as far as from the point of view of an emergency responder? Look, like any advice? Oh, wow. Um, that's a <laughs> <laughs> I know, to sum it up into like two sentences is going to be like, no way. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's tough because people... People like to do what is commercially popular and what has been marketed well. Right. And it is very hard. It is very hard for me to sit at a restaurant with my crew and eat a meal bar for dinner. And they say, oh, what are you doing? You know, come on, eat this, eat that. And, you know, don't worry about that. You look fine. No, I'm doing this. This is for me. This is for my wife. This is for my family. And now everyone on my crew does it. <laughs> That, I'm sorry, I don't mean to burst out and laugh, but my husband just walked in and did a thumbs up that he um he he shares your pain. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're they're slowly coming around too. Yeah. But well, they see it. I mean, look, I'm 42 years old and I'm running circles around these guys, and and I'm not depressed. I'm not sitting in a recliner. I'm up. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to move. And and these guys that are younger than me, you know what? They better watch out. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to creep up on them. Right, right. Oh, man. Okay. Well, look, I couldn't say it any better than that. It's just, um, here's the thing. Give it a try. What do you have to lose? Shackley offers these products for us to get healthier. And if you feel as though, after using them, if you feel as though they're not working the way that you expected them to, you can get all your money back. That is something that Shackley has always stood behind, and many companies do not, especially with weight loss programs. <laughs> I got to tell you. I've done all kinds of things in the past and try to go to some of those other ones and say, hey, look, I did your program for two months and I'm not happy with the weight that I lost and get my money back. They're going to laugh at you. Shackley doesn't ask questions. If you're not happy with anything, you can use every drop, every ounce, every pill. If you're not happy with it, um, they will give you a refund. But here's the thing. I don't have anybody who wants to return anything um, because it's different. It's different than, like you said, the other stuff that's out there and marketed. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. Um, again, if anybody has any questions or if you're interested in learning more about the Shackley difference, uh, trying the products, or possibly even looking into the opportunity, uh, contact the person that invited you on here. I mean, if you really understood what Shackley was all about and, and the opportunity, you would run through a brick wall to get this stuff. Don't you agree, Scott? Oh, I might have lost them. I think I lost Scott. But anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for coming on. Thank you so much, Captain Bradshaw and Officer Lane. I truly appreciate you coming on and telling us your testimony and your experience and sharing some tips and tricks with other um, emergency responders. So I wish you all well. Thank you for joining, and have a great night. Bye-bye. Did you answer all their questions?